Guess what? Over the last eight years, with the collapse of the 2008 crash, Western countries can't buy any more the way they did. Wages have gone nowhere. Large numbers of people are unemployed. They're not earning any wages at all. Not only that, they can't get credit anymore because they already have more credit that they can carry. So the Chinese are suddenly confronted with a momentous problem. They have built their entire economic plan on exporting to parts of the world that can't grow anymore the way they did. To which the reaction is, oh, and then there's a word that starts with SH, but I can't say it. <laughs> We're in trouble. What are we, the Chinese, what are we going to do? Well, we have only, we have no solution to this. We look at the Western world and we can see they are not, they are not only not able to buy our stuff now, they're not looking like they're going to be able to buy our stuff ever, or at least not for a long time. So we, we can't look for a recovery. That may be fun PR inside the United States to keep the political life bearable, but we're Chinese, we're hard-nosed, we're trying to figure out what's going on. That delusion we can't allow ourselves. So the Chinese came up with their own plan, the only one really that's there. We have to convert the Chinese economy from an export-focused, export-dependent economy onto an internal demand-driven economy. We have to build up the wages of our masses so they can buy the stuff we can here produce, and we have to cut back on manufacturing because there's no more capacity in the world than we need, and build a service sector economy, what the West has already done more than they did. And that's a tremendously difficult transition. It's been a terrible transition in every country in the world, including the United States. That transition from manufacture to services, from an export-oriented to a domestic, the Chinese are trying to manage that. And that's a very bumpy, difficult situation. And that's why their stock market gyrates. Because they're trying to make, and no one knows if it'll succeed whether they'll be able to build up their internal demand enough to cope with it. You know, how fast is the export market shrinking? How quickly can they bring up their own domestic market? Those are big questions for which no one knows the answer. So the stock market, is, but this is not a problem of China. That's just, let me be blunt, stupid. This is a problem of a global economic system. The reason the Chinese are having their problem is because we have a problem and they can't sell to us the way they did. And we can't borrow the way we did. That's not their problem, that's our problem. But it's not a question of their or us. This is a crisis not of a country. It's a crisis of a system in which all the countries are entwined. But that's the no-no of our society these days can't look at the system. You can't point at capitalism as a way of organizing how countries interact, how finance and production interact. You can't look at that. You got to decide who's the good guy, who's the bad guy, who's the right country, who's the good country, who's the bad. Stop. It really is childish. It's childish, intellectually childish and politically retrograde.